so netflix released extraction this just i think this past week or something and i made a simple tweet new i was like i hope extraction will not be the new six underground and um people have want to eat me alive anyway let's compare the two together mm. So, I have to be very careful with this particular video before you go blacklist me. I'm just an upcoming YouTuber. My back I ask me share very Please. First of all, I don't eat six underground. Let me first of all debunk that new shot. I don't eat six underground. Why would I eat something that I did not make? I don't I don't eat the movie and uh, I actually had of okay, I think it was until after six underground came out that I actually even had of it. So um yeah, that's when I had of Six Underground. While Extraction, I saw the trailer, watched the trailer, and I was actually intrigued and waiting for the video and all that. Uh, the difference between Six Underground and Extraction, I believe the difference majorly is in the hype that both movies got, at least as at the time of making this video. Uh, both are great movies and you can't expect me to like every movie and you can't expect me to like what you like and I don't expect you to like what I do like. So um, let's leave that. Yeah, let's leave that already. So Six on the Ground and Extraction. Six on the Ground starts when Reynolds, the person that played the Deadpool for the DC or Marvel. And um, Extraction starts Chris M. Swartz, the person that played Thor for Marvel Cinemas. And both are like action sequence, action movies, Hollywood action movies. And um, people have kind of like trying to pad the two together because they are produced by Netflix and released almost within the same period of time. So which one is actually better? Let me try to analyze it. Six Underground basically follows a rich guy um, who, I don't know, the story is sure. They are trying to be like superheroes, but you know, not in the Marvel and DC kind of stuff. Um, some of them are former soldiers, doctors, carriers, blah blah blah, and they are coming together to you know form this carriers in action sequence to save the world. I think they mentioned Boko Haram in one of the videos here and all that. So that's the storyline, typical Hollywood action storyline. Then Extraction also follows one um sad is he is he sad now or retired military guy or afghanistan soldier who is asked to extract um a no stage from kidnappers or something another typical hollywood action storyline and all that but now what is the difference between the two if you ask me i actually do prefer six l uh, extraction to six underground now that's not undermining what six underground what they did with that movie or what it is but i believe personally the reason why i do feel like that is i actually watched six underground based on IP and i watched extraction based on interest now like i said six underground came out and it was after that time i watched it i didn't hear about it before that time or well, actually actually did but extraction i actually added before it came out and my appetite was already arranged from the trailer for the movie i didn't hear of any other person's view so it was basically oh i have this personal expectation and that was what i went i had to watch the movie with but then with six underground i mean it was all over twitter whatsapp stories instagram and everything six underground this six underground there's six underground this six underground that and i watched the movie with all those expectations that if a million people are raving about this movie then it must be like i i i i i i i, I. and then i saw the movie and it was just so for me it was a no and extraction it was basically my own expectations and i met it like that there's basically nothing be different between the two that's just the truth the two follow the regular the normal Hollywood action storyline that's just it with action sequence blah 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 but the reason why i made that statement was there was too much hype on one at least 
as at when I'm making this video, than the other. And like I said, I've watched one based on hype. Whether you like it or not, or you disagree with me or not, hype goes a long way in the success or the failure of a movie. And like I was telling a friend, there's actually no good or a bad hype at all. The issue is when there's a lot of hype about a movie, people tend to watch that movie with expectations of other people and not their own personal expectations. So when it doesn't meet those expectations, it's easier to say, no, I don't like this movie or this movie did not uh, perform as expected. But when you are seeing the movie just with your own personal expectation, I mean, it's easier to just let things go and just, well, it's just another bad movie that I saw. And that was actually the issue with um, Six Underground for me. I watched it with a lot of people's expectations. My extraction was just basically my own expectation. So, um, but like the truth is, there's no bad hype because whether it's a good hype or a bad one, it gets people and drives people to see that thing. But I don't feel this is an argument that can hold or that I can sustain or something. But are good, but see. You just have to accept people's preference and what they like and what they don't like and all that. Both are great movies and I look forward to, I don't know, sequels of both movies. But then I'm picking Six Extra, oh sorry, I'm picking Extraction over Six Underground, please. Well, Six Underground basically was just, for me, majorly carries, yeah, a lot of, you know, weird carries and stunts and all that. And I. Even though it's the general storyline, I think it lacks story. Yeah, I, I'm finding it difficult to remember the major story from the movie. Like I couldn't take anything tangible from it compared to six, um, compared to extraction and all that. So, um, for me, it's extraction over six hundred grand. Now, I, I don't want to continue this argument because it's what I've been having for the past few days. So, but I just want to know your straight opinions. Why do you feel, or which number one, which do you think is better in your own opinion, six underground or extraction? And um, why do you feel that is better, whichever one you choose? And why do you feel there's this debate over which is better? or not let me know in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for similar content i like this video because yes extraction is actually better than six on the ground and if you don't feel like that don't dislike my video please i'm still upcoming so um with that with, with that with that with that i'll see you in my next video and keep streaming netflix yeah they have good movies you know i'll do a playlist of that Anyway, that's it. Extraction, it is for me. Till next time, 